hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to have a stitch pattern tutorial and this is what we're going to do i call this a a bee in a honeycomb because it seems to me that this is a bee and inside a honeycomb this stitch pattern is fairly easy we only have one special stitch here this one this which is a bead stitch but once you get the hang of this, this is easy. The stitch pattern is actually reversible. So you will have this on this side. You can use that if you like the pattern here. You can use this and also you can use this side also. It's, it's quite the same. I believe that you can use any type of yarn with this stitch pattern. Uh, you can use any category of yarn like here I made it with a an, an acrylic yarn an indofil 100% acrylic yarn this is four ply and yeah you can use any types of yarn for this particular project or for this particular pattern you can use this stitch pattern in any project that you can think of you can have it in on your wearables blankets shawls yeah you can have this in any project that you can think of so this stitch pattern is a multiple of 12 so you can make this a little more longer or longer than this just like here it's uh longer than this one this one i have multiples of 12 by 2 and then this here, I have multiples of 12 by 3. That's why I have three bead stitches here. I only have two bead stitches here. So you can make this longer. You just have to be mindful of the number of stitches, which should be which it should be multiples of 12. So when you have your desired length of your uh, project, just be mindful that it should be multiples of 12 and then after that you're going to add five more stitches so basically the stitch pattern is multiples of 12 plus five for this tutorial i'm going to use this yarn this is a hundred percent cotton yarn i think this is a category one uh, yarn and then for the hook, I'm going to use this 3.25 millimeters. Like what I've said before, you can use any type of yarn depending on your project. And then the size of the hook would also depend on the type of yarn that you are using. Okay, to begin, let's create our slip knot. So this is how I do my slip knot. You can do your slip knot in whichever you wanted to do it. For this tutorial, I'm just going to create a small swatch just like here. I have two multiples of 12 stitches here. And then so 24, 12 times 2, so 24 and then plus 5. So I will have 29 stitches in total. So let's create our foundation chains. I'll just make this a little bit faster and I will meet you there when I have 29 stitches already. I have now 29 stitches here for our foundation chains. So, and then after, we're going to count two stitches from the hook one two okay one two and then on the third chain we are going to create or we are going to do a single crochet one two and then third single crochet and we will do single crochet in each of the stitches across see here you'll do single crochet I am just going to make this a little bit faster and I will meet you when I'm there on the last stitch. Okay, just single crochet here.
By the way, our single crochet is here, is our row 1, and then after this, we will proceed with our row 2. Now for row 2, before we will proceed with our row 2, we will just crochet 2 chains, and then we'll uh, turn our work on our side, like so. And then on the first stitch here, this one, we will do single crochet. And then three more single crochet on this stitches okay single crochet and then single crochet and another single crochet so in total we have four single crochet one two three four sorry we have four and then after this we will chain three one two three and then we will skip three stitches one two three and then we will do double crochet on the fourth stitch one double crochet so there and then with this double crochet we will create our bead stitch so this is how we're going to create our bead stitch yarn over and then here insert our hook on this post our DC post and then yarn over and then yarn over here and then like this and then yarn under that's not yarn over i mean that's yarn under then yarn over yarn under so we'll do it five times so we already have three times and then yarn over and then go here and then yarn under so that's four and then yarn over and then we'll do it again we'll insert here and then yarn under and then yarn over and then we will pull through all these loops that is in our that is on our hook so let's pull all this uh loops sorry okay so there and then we'll chain three one two three and then we will skip three stitches one two three and then single crochet on the next stitch so that is our first bead stitch and then we will create four more single crochet on the following stitches so in total we will have five single crochet here so two sorry two three four and then five okay next is we will chain three one two three and then we will skip again three stitches and then double crochet on the next stitch so one two three four we will do double crochet here and we will create another bead stitch so we'll do it a little slower yarn over and then insert our hook here yarn under that's one and then two three and then four and then five and then yarn over and then we'll pull through all the loops that is in our hook and then chain three one two three and then count stitches three stitches i mean one two three and then in the fourth we'll do single crochet and on the next also we'll do single crochet and then on the next and then on the last one here so in total we have four single crochet on this side so there we're done with our row two now for row three before we will turn our work we will chain two and then we'll turn our work on our side and then on the first stitch here we will do single crochet so row three basically is single crochet so we will do single crochet across so single crochet here and then single crochet and then single crochet now on the chain space we will create three three on each side of the bead stitch so we'll do one 
two, but the third single crochet here we will put on this stitch. Okay, here, this one here, we will put it here on, actually it's on the bead stitch already, so we will put our third single crochet here on this side. And then also one single crochet on the DC post. So our DC post is this one. So single crochet also. And then on the other side, we will do three single crochet. One, two, and then three. And, and for this five single crochet stitches here, we will do single crochet stitches as well. So one, two, three, four, sorry, and then five. And then on this side, just like what we did on the first uh, here, the first bead stitch that we have here. So on this chain space here, we will do two single crochet, one, two, and then the third uh, single crochet will be on the bead, sti bead stitch here. Just make sure that you will just insert or you will insert your hook on this two loops only here this i'm sorry this one just make sure that you will insert your hook on this two loops only and then sorry i did another it did insert in another uh loop so that is the third and then one on the dc post and then on the following chain space we will create three three single crochet and then on the four single crochet here we will do one single crochet on each stitches so one two three four so basically that is our row three now our next row or our row four is essentially a repeat of our bead stitch row but instead of placing it above right above the bead stitch that we have on the previous row it's an, a little bit on the sides so we'll have bead stitch here and then here and then also on the side so but before that, we will chain two. We would always be making chain two at the end of each row before we will proceed with the next row. So after chain two, we will um, turn our work on our side. And then this time, this one is a considered, our chain two is considered a DC. And then we will create another double crochet on the next stitch. So that is our first stitch, but we will do our double crochet on the next stitch. So here, double crochet. And on this double crochet, we will create, or this is our bead stitch actually. So one, two, three, four, five, and then pull through all the loops and then chain three two three and then again we will skip three stitches one two three and then single crochet on the following stitch five single crochet on each of the next five stitches so two three four and then five and then after chain three two three skips three stitches and then double crochet on the next and then again on this double crochet uh, post we will create our bead stitch or this is our bead stitch two three four and five so we'll pull through all the loops 
and chain three one two three skip three stitches and then single crochet on the next one five single crochet on each of the following five stitches so we have three four and then five and then chain three again we'll have another bead stitch and then one two three skip three stitches and then double crochet on the next or bead stitch one two three four five and then yarn over but this time we're not going to chain anything but we will directly create our double crochet on the next stitch just pull through the loops on the hook and then after that double crochet on the next so that is our row four now our row five is essentially our or just the same on our row three which is our single crochet row so again before we will proceed with our next row we will chain two and then turn our work and then on the first stitch here this one we will do single crochet and then we will leave this stitch here we will leave that but on the next which is our dc post we will do single crochet okay there and then on the next our chain space on the next we will create three single crochet so one two and three and then five single crochet on each of these five stitches here okay one sorry two three four five and then on the following chain space we will create two here two single crochet and then the third one is on the bead stitch the loop here make sure to insert on both loops and then so that's our third single crochet on the side and then one on the dc post and then on the next chain space we will do three single crochet and then five single crochet on each of this five stitches one two three four five now here we will do again two single crochet and then the third is on this stitch this one on the bead stitch actually so that's three and then on one on the dc post on our dc post here sorry there and then the last one will be on the second chain that we have on the previous uh, row on the second chain because we did uh, two chains at the beginning of our previous row now on the second chain of that we will create our last uh, single crochet the second chain is actually our final stitch so there is our row five and our next row or our row six is essentially a repeat of our row two wherein we will have our bead stitch again on this side we'll have four single crochet and then bead stitch and then five single crochet and then bead stitch and then four so it's just a repeat of the uh, of our row two so essentially this pattern is a four row repeat pardon me if i said it's a row repeat before but when so so when you do your row six you will be doing the row or the pattern in row two then when you do your row seventh you will do the pattern on row three and then on your row eight you're going to use the pattern on row four and then on the on your ninth row you're going to use the pattern on row five and so on and so forth so you're going to increase the size of your project by repeating this four rows 
or yeah the fourth row repeat i will continue a few more rows of this pattern here so you can go along 